Hi, my name is John Cordray and I'm a licensed counselor and on my YouTube channel I help people who struggle with anxiety and depression and on this video I'm going to talk about four things you should never do for a loved one who is depressed. So you have a loved one who is depressed, maybe a spouse, maybe a child, maybe a really good friend, a partner, somebody in your life who is depressed and more than likely uh, they're withdrawing from you. They may be in bed and they can't get out of bed. They lost their motivation. They can't sleep. They talk about very negative things in their life. What do you do? What do you say? Well, I wanted to talk about four things to, to not say or four things not to do. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to talk about two things. And then I have a, a follow-up video to talk about the next two things of what not to do. So I want you to watch this and then I want you to watch the, my second video which is in the link down below and I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because this is what I do. I'm a licensed counselor and I help people just like you uh, who either are struggling with anxiety or depression or want to help somebody who is struggling with anxiety or depression. So subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. So the first thing I want you to never do with somebody who is depressed is just to tell them to snap out of it. To just kind of muster up the energy to be able to get up and enjoy their day. That can't happen. You see, when someone who is depressed, there is something going on in their brain. It's not something that, um, that they're crazy, but it's something in their brain. Now, it could be that this person experienced something like a trauma or maybe it's in their in their family it's hereditary or maybe it's situational uh, that something happened they lost a job or uh, they lost a relationship and they're depressed but you don't want to just tell them hey it'll get better cheer up buckle up get get out there and enjoy life you can't tell someone who's depressed just to get over it the second thing you should never do with someone who is depressed is to just get mad at them, to get angry at them. You might be tempted. You might be tempted because they might be so depressed. Maybe it's been a week, two weeks, maybe a month or longer that they don't really say anything to you. They withdraw from you. Uh, they can't get out of bed. And it's frustrating to you because maybe you don't understand what depression's like. You don't know what it's like to be at that depressed. And so you might be getting angry inside. You might be getting impatient inside and frustrated but don't let that person know that you're frustrated or angry with them because it'll just make it worse because what's going to happen they're already feeling down and bad that they're depressed and it it's hurting the relationship they already are feeling that and so you expressing that you're angry at them for it it's just going to compound and make them feel worse and and shamed and for someone who is depressed to feel shame, it makes it worse. They're going to sink down even further and it's going to push them away. And, and that's the last thing that you want. So really, uh, it's okay for you to feel that way. Anger, frustration, impatience. It's okay. You, you have feelings too. But you don't express those to the person that you love who is depressed because it'll make it worse. I have two more really good points for you to remember. If you have someone who, who you love who is depressed, I gave you two of what not to do. But my next video, I'm going to share even better tips, two more tips that's going to help you uh, to love your loved one even better when they're depressed. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel while you're there.